Right, question 17. You've got a right angle triangle with an angle, a length, and a length that isn't given. X centimetres there. Calculate the value of X, give your answer correct to three significant figures. Right, you can see there's a lot of uh, rounding to three significant figures there in this test. The, the last question had it and the question before that, so if you're not sure about significant figures, that's something you need to uh, train yourself on. So, um, you've got a right angle triangle. Now remember, when you work with right angle triangles, generally it means either Pythagoras or trigonometry. Trigonometry being Sokotoa, remember, sin, cos, tan. Uh, sometimes it could be similar triangles, so look out for which one it is. In this case, it's going to be trigonometry, because we've only got one triangle here, so it can't be a similar triangle, and we have got an angle. Now with Pythagoras, there's usually three sides involved that give you two and you want to find the other one. With trigonometry, we have two sides and an angle. Calculate the value of x. Now remember, Sokotoa. S O H C A H T O A are the three formula triangles you use in trigonometry. So remember those. Uh, we want to find, we've got an angle here, 60 degrees. We want to find this one, which is the opposite. We've got 32 over here, which is the hypotenuse. So, which of these contains O for opposite and H for hypotenuse. Well, it's this one. So we don't want that, we don't want that. We want to find the opposite, which is X. So O at the top. Now remember, to use the formula triangle, cover up the one that you actually want to find and see what you do with the others to find it. Because they're next to each other, it means you are multiplying them together. You're going to multiply sin of the angle, so opposite, which is X, is equal to sin of the angle, which is 60, times by the hypotenuse, 32. Now, quite often people write it as 32 sin 60. Okay, That is because, if you look at your calculator now, when I type this in, if I press sin 60, you'll see this bracket automatically appears. Now, if I just type times 32 now, I'm going to get the sin of the angle 60 times 32 and that will give me a wrong answer okay I need to press sin 60 close the bracket and then times it by 32 and that gives me a different answer another way of doing it is doing the 32 first I could do 32 sin 60 close the bracket and that gives me the same answer so the answer is 27.7128 and so on. It only wants three significant figures, so that's one, two, three. I cut off the rest. Look at the first one, that's a one, because it's small. It doesn't round the seven up, so it's 27.7. And x is in centimeters. Don't forget your units. Right, now, another way of either looking at significant figures is looking at it like this. If it says three significant figures, count from the first digit that is not zero, so that that's the two. So one, two, three. Look at what it is. It is the first decimal place. So it basically means round it to one decimal place. If it was four significant figures, one, two, three, four, that would be round two decimal places. If it was two significant figures, it would be one, two. That would mean round it to the nearest unit. If it was one significant figure, that would be one, that would mean round it to the nearest 10, because 2 is in the tens column. But this one was three significant figures, round it to the nearest decimal place, which is 27.7.